Yesterday I was showing you Tesla's um, theories about the Crooks tube and how he's come past that basic aspect and using high voltages he can uh, make the air very conductive and um, so moving on um, I was talking about how it usually you usually need um, a lot of heat or um, less pressure to make the gases conductive but as we go down here this is this area is just talking about like basic Tesla coil where you got um, discharges into the air and though you can see the discharges usually the purple you know sparks that you see in the YouTube videos there's also like the obvious that there's also energy going out into the regular air that you don't see any purple charge and you can see that in many videos on the internet and on YouTube you know where they show someone bringing a uh, fluorescent light and the fluorescent light isn't touching the sparks or anything but it's just in the air and it's, it's showing as conducting electricity so this is just talking about that and as we go over here he goes into more how the probably why the spot why um, energy can be put into the air and how he compares it to natural phenomena like lightning and stuff like that so um, on here he talks about how leaving the coil on for a while will make the atmosphere more conducting and he says that basically the electricity will ionize more air and it will bring the electricity to a higher elevation on the I on the um, Earth's atmosphere so you know as you go up you're going towards a vacuum of space so there's going to be less pressure and that makes a better conducting area so that's what he's saying is that his ionization will make it so that the electricity can flow up to the higher levels easier and make it more efficient as time goes on and so um, as we go down more um, he kinda compares it to um, lightning strikes on like dry days he says that heat and things like that will you know the air will be ionized and so you get the dry lightning strikes with that the upper atmosphere and um, as we're going down, he starts talking about, you know, that you can take the, electro, the regular electromagnetic force, I mean, electromotive force, and the impulses, you know, at a, like, you know, like, a, um, the basic turn-on voltage, and if you're increasing it about 50%, that the area that the discharges will go will enlarge more than six-fold um, by augmentation of the electrical pressure, amounting scarcely to more than 50%. So he's just saying 50% power the the area and the electrical pressure will spread out sixfold so he's saying that it will go farther out with more um, power you know things like that and moving on uh, towards the bottom he talks about how that um, gases usually uh, will need something like 75 millimeters barometric pressure to uh, show um, conductivity but he says that with his design and the you know the high voltages and stuff, you can you can have the gas become conductive at 130 millimeters pressure. So when the gas is still known to be perfect insulators for ordinary electromagnetic forces, and um, he says that the range is in the million volts, and it shows that at that pressure that it becomes excellent conductors. Um, and he says, by the discovery of these facts and the perfection of means for producing in a safe, economical, and thoroughly practical manner, current impulses of the character described becomes possible to tra transmit through easily accessible the, and only moderately ratified strata of the atmosphere, electrical energy, not merely in the ins 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 insignificant um, quantities such as suitable for the operation of a delicate instruments and like purposes but also in quantity suitable for industrial uses on a large scale up to practically any amount and according to all the experimental evidence I have attained to any terrestrial distance and uh, as we go to this side he talks about uh, that without his well bef before him him as well as other scientists believe that this idea would be impossible because that they believe the air wasn't as conduct wouldn't become conductive at all so it would waste a lot of energy and heat and things like that but because Tesla found that the air and the atmosphere and all that is really conductive at certain um, high voltages he's shown that you can efficiently bring uh, energy through the air to other points on the earth and so you're, you're making some type of a power station and um, 
he says in this area, he talks about how that um, with normal um, engineering and, you know, like building towers and stuff, you would need like 15 or more miles above the sea to become a um, conducting atmosphere. So that he's saying that you don't need to build large antennas to do this with his device because his device will make a flow and by, you know, going from the older part that he was saying here, he's showing that the ionization will make it an easier flow from the, the um, more um, resistant atmosphere, non-conducting atmosphere, and it'll bring it up to the higher areas of less um, uh, resistance and stuff. So you got a nice conducting pathway around the, the Earth's atmosphere. And so uh, that's, that's pretty much what he's saying here. And um, let me think. as we go down, he says that right here, I'll just I'll say his basic thing. Express briefly, my present invention based upon these discoveries consists then in producing at one point an electrical pressure of such character and magnitude as to cause thereby a current to transverse elevated strata of the air between the point of generation and a distant point at which the energy will be utilized. And um, he says that up here, I think I believe he's talking about resonance and stuff because he's talking about how the regular waves would, um, you know, like a hertz wave and stuff like that is really weak and you can see that with radios and stuff but he's seeing that you can use the other portions of that wave and you can get the, the industrial quantities of energy so that means you can you can take you know the, the millions of horsepower portions of the wave I don't know that's what it seems like he's saying here but you can interpret it differently but that's what he's saying is two he's telling the difference between his apparatus and what is currently used at that time and so in the next part of this video or maybe another video I'll talk about how how he believes it should be built for um, for an experimental coil and so in the next one he, t he tells you like the capacitors to use the coils the distance and things like that so in the next one or the next part of this video I'll show you that